buwat at sumbungan ng mga inang naaapi. 80 sa balota. Number 80 sa balota. Mocha Bartley's Mother for Change. Number 80 sa balota. Mocha Bartley's Nga, nakapalibago, present tayong dalawa. Dal- I'm back, hello sa lahat po ng ating mga taga-subaybay, sa ating mga uh, mga nanay at, maka- at mga makananay. Hello, good evening, Michelle. Hi, good evening, Roca. And of course, nabatiin natin lahat ng ating mga volunteers and leaders from all over the world. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. To all of our OFW, sa lahat po ng ating mga kabataan, and of course, sa lahat ng mga mommies na nanonood, unahan na natin kay Mommy Lolly and kay Mommy Esther. Good evening, yes. po, mommies. And Tito Apple, of course. O, oh, di ba ganito? Mommy? Mommy? Ito ba yung Michelle, yung Mommy. language? Sign language? Mommy! Oo. Yan. Sa baba. Tsaka pala, sa baba. Yan. Tsaka pala yung nanay Mommy. ko ay... Yung nanay ko nagpunta yan sa Dagupan City, Pangasinan. Actually, uh, iba't ibang taon pinuntahan niya nung Sunday. May Zumba, may Zumba Moha Caravan din doon. Salamat sa ating mga leaders doon. At ayun, kasama niya siyempre si Tito Apple. Kaya habang nagpapagaling tayo, sila mother naman na umiikot. Pero malapit na to, malapit nang umindak to. Lapit na malapit na. Ako, mukhang mapapazumba na naman tayo nito. Pero before <laughs> lahat, syempre, baby steps muna tayo. Baby steps. Mag-live muna tayo gabi-gabi. Uh, Nakapatawa ko ako kasi sobrang active ni Mommy Esther. Actually, nung nag-uusap kami ng mommy ko, sabi niya, sobrang believe na believe siya kay Mommy Esther na si Mommy Esther ay 70, ilan taon na? 75? So sabi niya, parang, ano, hindi niya ma-imagine na nagta-travel pa, siya yung, siya yung namumula ng kampanya natin sa Dagupan. So, sobrang nakaka-inspire, pati yung mga Zumba natin na pupuntahan ni Mami. Kaya, yes, na- napanood ko. Hmm. Napanood ko yung, ano, yung episode mo with Mami Lolly. Last Friday ata ito. Um, sabi nga, kasama pa yung sister mo. Nasa van kayo na eh. Iyon, sabi, sabi nga ni Mami Lolly. Ano, kasama na sister ko pag umiikot. Oh. Kasi yung nagiging Ay, wow. problem ko, di ba sa sobrang busy, tas laging may kausap, nahihirapan ako mag-post sa social media. So yung Correct. sister ko, kasama siya ngayon, siya yung nagpo-post, magpo-post sa social media sa mga darating na araw para ma-share. Kasi ang dami-dami nating napupuntahan, hindi ko na siya share para sa ating ano mga... Ano ulit name? Ano ulit name, sister? Baby Sinita. sister. My baby Gita. sister. Oo, my baby yeah. nasa baby. Gita. Thank you. Sobrang supportive. So, ano, first time niya makasama, alam mo nakakatawa kasi munti kang talaga siya umiyak sa sobrang pagod. Talaga? Wait, wait. Nung ano yan, di ba? Saan ba kayo galing nung last week para ang dami yung napuntahan? Nagbicol ka? Nagbicol ako. Overnight lang din. By oh, land or? By plane. By air. Okay. Kasi inimbitahan oh, ako doon. Um, actually, yung pinuntahan ko sa Bicol, hindi yan campaign. Kasi, um, di ba, hmm. tayo dalawa, we've been volunteering para sa ating PNP. And naimbitahan yes. ako doon. Dapat nga kasama ka din dahil tayo ang ano mga conveners ng Magdalena, di ba? So, da, ano, nag-invite sila doon to celebrate Women's Month. Kaya, ano, bumisita kami. So, oh, ba't hindi na... sila? Region, ano ba yon Region 5. So, hello oh. sa lahat ng mga taga-Region 5, sa lahat ng mga kababayan ko dyan from Bicol, sa lahat ng mga kamag-anak ko din from Bicol, sobrang dami namin dyan. So, nakakatuwa dahil ano um, may mga nilaunch din kami doon na ikukwento ko very soon on our show. Sana ma-invite ko yung ating KK that president from Bicol dahil may nilaunch kami doon na bagong program for the youth. Ang tawag dyan, One Smile Bicol. So, ito try ko rin siya i- i-invite dito. Mm. Ayan. Ayan. So, abangan niyo po. Abangan niyo po si Michelle na kung saan uh, panig yan ng Pilipinas. Magugulat na lang kayo kung nasaan siya. 
Very uh, soon, very very soon. Iikot tayo dahil ang dami nang nag invite ko sa tayo pupunta. Meron ng five, five provinces ngayong March na iikotan natin. Pero syempre, oh bago ang lahat, what is our number? Yan na, don't forget. Number 80 guys, ito na ang ating balota. Here you go. So, lagi nyo tatandaan yung itsura ha, para mas madali dahil 170 plus ang ating mga party list. If I'm not mistaken, 178. Tama ba? Ayan, 178. So, lagi nyo lang titingnan yung second column, number 80, mocha party list. Number 80 po tayo sa balota para hindi po kayo mawala. Second column, number 80, para mas madali para sa ating mga love, mother lovers and supporters. Yes, ayan. At nakatutok ngayon si Tito Apple. Hindi ko alam kung mobile sila. Coming from the Gupan. Ayan si Tito Apple de Leon Argilia. Ha? Nako, itong mga to grabe. Talagang ang sipag din magkawit ng mga tarps. Kaya thank you Tito Apple. Senior na rin yan, pero iba yung energy. Mukhang tatalunin tayo. <laughs> Totoo. Alam niyo, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating mga leaders and volunteers na sila mismo yung nagkakabit ng mga tarps. Minsan nga, mock sila pa mismo na print ng mga tarps dahil wala nga tayong maibigay o maipadala sa kanila. Lalo na kung sila ay nasa malayong lugar o nasa ibang bansa. So, nakakatuwa dahil sila mismo yung mga tumutulong at nag-volunteer para sa ating adult sa mga nanay. So, shout out yes. sa lahat. Maraming maraming salamat. And also, alam mo ba, um, yung ating mga pazumba, ano, tuloy-tuloy yan. Meron tayong oh, zumba, oh. zumba movement kahit wala tayo. Kahit, um, talagang ano, they show their support, yung ating mga mommies at yung mga nagmamahal sa mga mommies. Kaya salamat po sa ating mga uh, mga nanay, mga makananay dito sa ating MOCA party list, number 80 sa balota, sa mga gusto rin po maging leader or volunteer, maging kabahagi po ng ating MOCA party list family, o cheta sa balota, please email MOCA partylist at gmail.com O syempre, yes. babati muna tayo okay. sa mga nagkukumento. Pakipusuan naman po ang ating live. Puso, puso, puso. Pusuan nyo ang ating live kung mahal nyo po ang inyong mga nanay. At pusuan ang ating live kung talagang ating uh, gustong bigyan Okay guys, so paki-share din ang ating live para mas marami ang makanood. Mag-greet muna tayo while we are waiting si Kayla. Kayla, hello from Bicol. Lagi nanonood sa atin si Little Girl Kayla. Sailin Mikulob, hello, hello Ate Mitch. Ingat po palagi. And si Regine, hello Regine. Shout out to you. Maraming maraming salamat from watching. Ermi Senyeres, hello Ma'am Ermi. Thank you so much. Ito Jesse Mercado. Shout out po kami Idol Jesse. From Qatar. Hello, Jesse. Mag-ingat ka dyan palagi. And also your family back here sa Pilipinas. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanunood at sumusuporta. Ayan. Hi, Mocha. Sino ang mga nasa, ano mo? Nasa Facebook mo? Medyo yung, ano, audio talaga. Ay, hindi natin marinig ang audio mo. Oo. May problema ang audio. So while we are waiting, pwede natin i-restart para you can ano, let's keep her there na lang para marinig ko siya pagbalik. So bago natin basahin ang mga ang mga comments sa Facebook page ni Mamoka and bago natin tawagin ang ating very special guest for today, mag-greet muna tayo kay Bernel S. Mondano, count my vote, hashtag Mocha Party List. Maraming maraming salamat. Ito naman watching from KSA and um... Kasama ba daw kaming mga single titas? <laughs> Nakakatuwa. Alam niyo po, uh, Ma'am Farida Laksayo, sabi namin lahat tayo may nanay. Kaya lahat tayo may uh, parte dito sa ating advokasya. So sama-sama po natin silang ipagtatanggol, sama-sama din po natin silang ipaglalaban. Kaya lahat po ng mga single titas dyan, to Ma'am Farida Laksayo watching from KSA, magkakasama po tayo. Ako bilang tita din. <laughs> Saging Poxy Hello says Idol Gumabaw. Hello po. Sherilyn Tomakin says Hi Michelle and Mocha. Michael Amal Kinodalan says uh, Ma'am Mocha and Madam Michelle ang ganda niyong dalawa. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course si Mac Kong. Pa-shoutout po kay Marisa Ngalaba. Ngalalaba. 
Hello po sa inyong lahat. Abby Acevedo. Hello, Abby Acevedo. Long time no see sa ating comment section. Kamusta ka na? Watching from Tacloban City late eh. Kiri Pamintuan, of course, isa sa mga laging nanonood sa atin dito gabi-gabi. Hello, good evening daw sa atin dito sa Inamoka and Michelle Show. Kamusta po kayo, Jeff Fernandez, pa shout out. So I think while waiting for Moka, we can already introduce our guest para hindi na tayo magpapahuli dahil napakagandang kwento rin ang hatid niya para sa atin ngayon. I would like to call on the Gigi Australia or best known as Gigi Star. Mommy Gigi is here with us tonight. Hello, Mommy Gigi. Hello. Hi there. Hello, Hi. everyone. Good evening to you. Mommy Gigi, you have a Bye very good evening. Hello, maayong gabi sa Iyultanan. You have a very unique story, Mommy Gigi, because this is something na hindi pa po namin na ikukwento or na ibabahagi sa aming programa. And we are talking about life after loss. Yan po ay ang ating title for tonight. Because mm -hmm. you have already suffered through a loss of your son. And yan na po ang ikukwento natin tonight. But before we begin, and before po natin ikukwento yan, let's get to know Mommy Gigi first. Mommy Gigi, bakit po Gigi Star ang inyong napiling uh, artista or radio host name? Radio host. Kasi di ba FM? Tapos, so you have to have you have to have your own radio name. So Gigi... So star, kasi nga Australia. So yun star, Gigi star. Mayas niya. Uh, it's ano 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 MG Star, by the then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Diba? That's good. Okay. MG Star. Eh, yung nanay ko, Estrelita. So, Oy. little star? Yes, my mom's Estrelita. Oh, so Mocha Star. Pwede, pwede. Mocha pwede. Star shine and bright. MG Star. Shine bright tayo, guys, malagi. Shine bright. So, lahat tayo, we're all stars. Mommy yeah. Gigi, how many kids do you have po? I have uh, six. Ooh, six kids. That's right. Mga ilan taon na po sila? Well, uh, the eldest is 49. like who? What? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Yeah, Janzila. All of them. Forty-nine, and the youngest is like uh, how old? Is youngest? It's like maybe thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lahat, almost everyone na po has um, a, a family of their own. Mm -hmm. That's has, right. Marami na rin yeah. po kayong apo, Mami Gigi. Eleven. Oh. I've got eleven plants. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Dami no. So it's, uh, I just love, I just love crowd maybe. One big happy big family. family. Yes, one, yeah, one big, big happy family. family. Mm -hmm. Happy daughter, enjoy so Mocha, si Mommy Gigi, ang ikukwento niya sa atin for tonight is the story of her son. Mommy Gigi, may we know the name of your son that uh, left us already and passed away? And would you be able to yeah. also tell us the story of ano po ang nangyari? Well, uh, anim sila. Tapos, I've got uh, four boys and then two girls. And then... Um, Ano bang episode natin ngayon? What's the episode? Yes, our title of the episode is Life After Loss. So we're going ah, to life after loss. Yes, talk about loss and also how you coped with it because I'm sure a lot of our mommies makaka-relate with this and if dumadaan din po sila sa ganitong pagsubok, I'm sure your words also will will be with them and console them at a time like this. Yeah, that's true because uh, di ba, hindi dapat yung order, hindi dapat eh. Uh, you know, that's the most painful painful experience that uh, mm -hmm. everyone you know uh, compare mo sa pinak pinaka sa pain it's the loss of a child wala yon yung asawa yung brother sisters wala but especially if yung anak mo na no wala the pain talaga, talaga you cannot you cannot explain it and uh, hindi kasi eh, wala hindi hindi yung order eh Dapat yung parents yung mauuna eh, not, not your child. 
Kaya, it would be very, very hard to cope. And you have to stay strong, especially if uh, you have other children. That's GB. He passed away when he was uh, 30. Very young. Very young. It was at the peak of everything that he passed away due to uh, um, liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis. He loves drinking. Yeah. Liver cirrhosis. Yung kakasing anak ko eh. Pinapaano ko na, don't drink na. He loves partying. Yeah, he loves partying. So he's into booze nga. But he's a very nice kid. He is uh, very close to, to everyone, not only to us, but also to his friends. That's how he is. And um, yeah, he, he studied there also in Manila one time. And, for a uh, very long time. For a very long time at FEMA. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's right. So yeah, nami miss ko siya. Nami miss siya by everyone. By, by the Ma'am, siblings especially. Ma'am Gigi, ano yung pinaka nami miss nyo kay GB? Oh, I love everything. Everything about him. I love it. I miss his smile. I miss his voice. He calls me mother. <laughs> Pareho kami. Mother. Oh, then, that's what I call my mom, mother. <laughs> yeah, it's always night mother, hi mother. So I kind of, you know, it's how he calls my name, mother. And he's the only and, guy in the uh, house. And he loves, you know, he loves following me around like a puppy. Ganyan siya. Kung saan saan ako pupunta, sunod-sunod siya. Talaga. He's like that. He is an adult, but he's always my baby. He's always eating to most of us, to all of us. Adult na yan eh, pero baby pa rin. So, I miss him following me around wherever I go. He's always there at my back because we live together, the three of us, with my other yeah. botch. So, the one I'm is the one fixing everything here right now. It's a good thing he's here. Yeah. So yeah, that's my handsome, funny, naughty GB. And we miss him. You know what? It's just like it's it's been about him lately. And you know, you came. This interview came. Uh he just celebrated his birthday, like uh, February 23. And it was his anniversary yeah. last 9th of March. Just when recently, did this sixth happen, Mommy Gigi? Sixth anniversary. Six years ago. Okay. Six years ago. And last Sunday, during my radio show with my other son, you know, all of a sudden he just, my son just picked up another song and he said, you know, Mom, GB loves, this is GB's favorite. Mm -hmm. So lately it has been... Just uh, all about him for the past days. And I think this is the most celebrated part of it all. Being in the show and be talking about him. To everyone. Mom. To everyone, to all his friends. And to your friends in Facebook. To my friends, they're all tuned in right now. They're all watching right now. Do you want to greet them, Mommy Gigi, before we go on? Dami dami nila. Hello. I like to say hello to everyone. To all my children there, si Chuck, uh, Budge right here. Enjoy Raymond. They're all in Pasig. They're watching right now. Clubhouse the Clubhouse Sunday group. Jump house. Jump, jump. The Jump House Sunday group. My radio station, 94.3 IFM. They're all tuned in to us right now. The Lucky 13 Club. Joy and Raymond in Pasig. And my family in the U.S., my big sister Dudu, my little sister Pam, Nanan, and everyone in England, they're watching also, see, Indai, and my friends in Canada, Sinaboni, and uh, they're watching. I'd like to say hello to all my listeners in my radio show, especially to the Panaad, Panaad boys, they're watching. Elmo Bebut Kenyat, Sinagadi Martin, they're watching right now. And also at Hushi's in a restaurant, they're all watching right now. Oh, wow. Gagalang voice ni Ma'am Gigi, no? 
Your voice ano? is so, ano po, soothing. Beautiful, <laughs> soothing voice. Parang sarap pakinggan. Ganun na talaga. Hello to all of Mommy Gigi's friends and family. Thank you for tuning in the Inamoka and Michelle show. So tonight, we are interviewing Mommy Gigi about her son, GB, that passed away six years ago. And hopefully, we can also help other mommies who are coping with this kind of loss. So Mommy mm-hmm. Gigi, when this happened six years ago, what were your coping mechanisms? Paano po kayo... Um, nag-survive through that ordeal, through that time and through that moment in your life? What really helped you po? I have my other kids, for one. So, sabi na isang kid ko, si Migi, who's now in breast pain, sabi niya, Mom, remember that there's still five of us. So, you know, there there's still five of us who love you. But kasi, Hindi mo talaga mo ano yung pain eh. Uh, this is something that no parent should ever go through, the loss of a child. So what I do is I keep myself busy and tell myself I'm lucky to still have my other kids and the grandkids. But deep down inside, it's really very difficult. I guess in the end, I simply have to live with the pain. And uh, because in a way, this pain reminds me of GB, and that's still a good thing. You know, I'm having this pain, it reminds me of GB. So it's still there. <laughs> Mommy Gigi, would you say that the pain is still the same six years ago? Or would you yes. say now it's still the same? It is mm-hmm. the same every day. Mm-hmm. You know, you're eating and then all of a sudden you see something that it's his favorite. You go somewhere else to the mall and you say, oh, we've sat there one time. And this has been like six years ago. But, you know, he integrates, you know, to, to, to my everyday, to our everyday, even to his siblings. There's always the mention of his name that, oh... That, that dog, that's just kind of, that's Jibis kind of dog. That's Jibis kind of songs. See, even just in the, the, a li- the little thing. So he is there like every day. And, uh, you know, sometimes you laugh. You laugh with your friends. But there's a time you, you just sit there and he pass by your thoughts. That's, that's how painful it is. So you cannot just say, I love, I enjoy my work. But then when I go home, I go to my room, I kind of still, you know, wish. But even just a shadow, even just in a dream, that he can come visit. Mom Gigi, so, did you, do you see him in your dreams? Yeah. I think once, but it was just passing. But he was smiling at me. And this was also just like recently. Mm. As I've said, this is part of package. Mm. What, what's happening these past days? Finale. Yeah, I think this is the finale. I'm having this, I'm having this talk with you girls, ladies. I think this is the yeah. finale. Maybe tomorrow I'll be a lot cheerful. I'll be a lot brighter. GB, you better do this to me. Yeah, For sure, Mom so Gigi, marami po nakikinig sa atin ngayon na nawalan din po ng anak and um, makakakuha po sila ng lakas mula po sa inyong kwento dahil uh, yung iba, siguro po, isa lang yung anak nila pero pumanaw o kaya naman hindi nila alam kung paano uh, malagpasan ito, how to go through the ordeal. At andito po kayo ngayon, maganda po na naririnig nila kung paano nyo po ito kahit pa paano ay uh, nasusurvive each day, every day for the last six years. So, it's a celebration of uh, GB's life. And siguro may mga nanay ngayon na going through that phase ngayon na, na nawalan lang sila ng anak. Kaya, andito po tayo para bigyan din po sila ng encouragement at magkaroon po ng inspirasyon mula sa suffering, mula sa pain na pinagdaanan niyo po, Ma'am, Ma'am Gigi. Yeah. 
That's true. Mm-mm. Mom Gigi, so, is is this I know did this um did this challenge did this loss of GB's life change you? May binago ka ba about yourself? Did the family change anything as well um about what happened after that? Well, kulang. Kulang na kami. You know, if if uh, a chain is broken, ganon, it is very, very hard to recover. Maybe we can do it slowly, but what's happening now, we're, it's the children, we're, we're closer together. Mm-hmm. That makes us closer together. Ako kasi, I'm scared. I'm scared to, to experience the same thing all over again. I don't think I'll be able to, uh, you know. Hindi ko kaya yata if this is going to happen again. Because as I've said, this is the, the most uh, very painful part of life is that your child will go ahead of you. So, so yun. Hindi ko na yata kaya. Hindi ko na makaya. That was was one... there ever a time, mommy, na nagalit ka? Especially, of course, when you talk to God or you talk to your children. Was there any time that nagalit ka and you were asking why? Especially when it just happened. Yeah. And I think it's just but normal. I didn't, you know, for a while, I didn't go to church. Because there's always the why thing. Why me? Why us? You know? But, you know, because I think also because he thought that I can, I'm strong, I can, but makaya ko. But I wish he didn't really trust me that much. Na makaya ko. So, ganon. I think there is uh, really any other way to, uh, truly heal from, you know, something such as this. I don't think there is. Chibi, anak mo talagang nandyan yan. Every day, nandyan yan. In anywhere, in anything that you do. Wala na eh. Tapos, you know, makikita ko yung iba, ibang family then. Tapos, I count. How many kids do they have? And I said, oh my God, at least nandun pa rin yung Nandun pa rin yung lahat. You know, I always, and then I'd say, oh, how, how come marami sila? And I, I said, how lucky they can be that every, everybody's still there. Come on. So, okay. I'm kind of scared, really. No. Ma'am Gigi, meron pong message sa inyo yung isa ang um, viewer natin, si Maya Tagle. Sabi po niya, may the Lord give you all the comfort and love, ma'am. From Maya Tagle. Thank you, Maya. I'm trying. I'm trying. Siguro ito, ano lang eh, front, pang front ko lang eh, na ganito. But deep inside, deep inside, no, it's not. It's it's broken. The heart is broken. And then I see my other kids. I see yung mga, the grandkids. Then I try to to show them that I'm happy. I smile. I laugh. And then I go by myself again. And always, always, he is a big part of us. And I'm sorry, really, that. I'm, I ask forgiveness, you know, from GB. I, I wish, Jibs, that I wish that I did more. I did care more. I did take good care of you more. Most probably, you would still be here with us. Kikita ko lang yung mga pictures niya na ano ka talaga. Yun, mamimiss mo siya talaga. I always wish now he's still here with us. But never come on magkukulang advice to tell him to stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My other kids were sad. Maybe because they wanted to comfort me. 
Oh, hindi ka naman nakukulang eh mm-hmm. to advise him, but to to talk to him. But yes, I said, uh, you know, it's much better if I was more, maybe more strict, more mm-hmm. what? I I don't know the words for that. I'm at a loss really on what more I could have done. But I always say I could have done more. He could have lived. He could have been still with us. Because you know, he, he loves life. You know what comes out from his mouth all the time? It's always about palagi family, family. Mom, family, my family. Pati sa mga friends niya. Ah, uuwi na ako kasi ang pamilya ko nagahulat. My family is waiting for me. Uuwi na ako. So, that's him. If there was one gift after the loss, Mommy Gigi, would you agree that it would have been to bring everybody closer, the whole family closer as well? Definitely. Yeah, we're close. They're all close, the family. More. More closer. But now, yeah, we we talk. Uh, yeah, we have this chat thing on the messenger that we 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 connect every day we see pictures of every day of what you're doing you know so ganun na lang uh well in the midst of all this there is god so i hope everything will will be okay i know I know, you know, you cannot say time heals. This time really heals. But it's going to be forever until maybe the time when we'll all be together again. We'll see each other again. Mm. Mom Gigi, how has your loss changed you? You as a person, Change. you as a mother. Ano po yung... Naging, syempre, mas stronger po kayo. Yes. I think I'm more. I only have one here. She got. Uh, she goes. <laughs> yeah, I I have him with me. So I try to give him, you know, what I, what the hindi ko yung nabigay sa kay GB. So uh, much as possible, you know, I try to give him. Too strict, actually. <laughs> I'm I'm stricter Too now. Too strict. <laughs> I, I really give him what I wasn't able to give to GB. Everything. Everything. Mommy Gigi, Sorry. how were you able to work after that loss? Did you take time off from being a radio host? Because I'm sure you you were grieving at that time. Paano niyo ulit yeah. nahanap yung motivation to be able to work again and to be able to be on t- a radio again? Yeah, I stopped for a while because... Well, especially it's radio, and I play music, so alang naman you know I would sound cheerful there and everything. When deep inside I'm not, so I have to stop for a while, and uh, it's a good thing that uh, you know the station gave me time really to grieve to mourn, and then when I was ready, because I'm getting a lot of calls from my friends, would you come on back? Well, you know, uh, Jimmy would love you to be back. Uh, yun pa yun. Kasi if he's alive, he could have been one of my assistants also. And he said, Mom, I'm, I'm going to be your driver. So, yun, pati yun, nami miss ko, Jeb. Di ba? Sana ikaw yung, ikaw, 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 ikaw yung, mag, ano sa akin, mag-drive. Ikaw yung do everything to me. You know, they're spoiling me actually. All my kids, they spoil me. So, when I came back, so when on a run, at first I was so hesitant. I cannot, I cannot even play. Oh my God, I play this music and all because ah, uh, hindi pa forever. I'm not ready yet of all this. So then on. So now that I'm back, I hope everything will just be fine. So would you like to, I thought, let's read this comment first. 
Um, may the Lord comfort all the pain and God guide for all you're doing. May God bless you all. That was from Lynn Sapan. And that was for you, Mommy Gigi. So a lot yes. of our viewers right now from all over the world are with you right now and also praying for you and your family. And um, what words also would you like to give all of our viewers, to all of our moms that have I been through so. that yeah. same experience? need a prayer. Ah. No, kasi si Gibi nga this. We found a, a, a prayer. Here. We found this. This is a prayer that he made himself before he passed away. Before he passed away. Yeah. Uh, sabi niya, sabi niya, Holy God, we honor you as the hero of heaven. We long to be with you and care on your beauty. Thank you for inviting every loving soul to spend eternity mm -hmm. with you. We pray that many will come to know you and will accept you as their Lord and Master. May your kingdom increase and you will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, Lord God. There is no one like you. So this is the prayer that he made. And there is also another piece of paper that I found in his, you know, penmanship. And he was, uh, he, he said, who to say sorry to? He wrote it down. Who to say sorry to? Number one, mom. <laughs> mom. And the, the other names there, his siblings. He wants to say sorry to Chuck, to Bodge, to Joy, to Miggy, and to Steph. He wants to say sorry to everyone. To everyone who's there. And even to his friends. He said he's sorry. So, I guess kung, kung time mo na talaga, kung time mo na talaga, God will find a way for you to, uh, to ano ba? Uh, will find a way for you to really re reconcile to everybody. Mm -hmm. And he was so ready with this. I mean, you know, for him to think of that, who to say sorry, it's in his piece of paper that I found that I kept it. This one here, all in his penmanship. So isn't it nice that you're able to say that? Young as he was, he was 38. And who loves to party? And maybe one one evening he sat down on a piece of paper, tapos ng sulat yon. Nang sorry to you, to you, to you. And it was number one there. And he said that he's sorry. Because you know, every day we're together, eh? BFF to me, we're best friends. And he was leaving me, he was leaving his family. And he said he was sorry to do that. Mommy Gigi, do you have any words for GB? <clears throat> Excuse me. For GB? Yeah. Yes, any words that you want to say to GB? Yeah, I always say, you know, hey, Jib. Can you give me a sign that you're here? Always. Maybe I'd ask for a coin or a feather. Always. And most times when I see a feather, all of a sudden it's right there on the floor. Wow. Or a coin. Yeah. Or, a coin. Earlier. or a coin out of the blue. I can see a coin. So I believe that he's just around. Because okay. how can you find a feather? We don't have man man manok here. We don't have birds. Okay. All of a sudden, you see a feather. I can even see some red or blue feather out of the blue. And then some coins, if I say so. So, Jib, you just wait for us, you know. I know you have your Lolo and Lola there, your Tita. And uh, so I guess you're enjoying. My other friends are there, and he knows them very well. So they had a great time up there so i said 
at the end, Shivs will all be together. Just be patient. <laughs> yeah. Just pray for us always. Pray for your other, your brothers and your sisters to all of us. Yun. Yun ang uh, sinasabi ko palagi sa kanya. Ma'am Gigi, um, any last words po para sa ating mga moms who are going through uh, the healing process? Advice yeah. po sa kanila yung from your own personal experience po? Yeah. Well, I believe that this there is an afterlife. And uh, that's all good souls go to heaven. Yeah. He is included always there. And uh, I live with the hope that someday we will all be re reunited under God's good graces. And that in the midst of all this, there is a God. And that he will not give you, you know, a burden that you cannot, you cannot uh, carry. Kala niya nga, very strong yan. So, we... We may want to question why. Diba? You, you ask, why, Lord? Ganun, always. We may ask the question why. But we learn later on that uh, it is not our place, you know. It, it is not our place to do so. That we have to question. Wala tayong right to question. We don't have the right to question. Talaga. So we, we hold up our head strong and just keep the faith. Keep the faith that God is there. He will take good care of us. He will take good care of every one of us. Yun. Thank you so much, Mommy Thank Gigi. You. And I hope you know that Mooka and I will always be here to hear your story or if you need anybody to talk to. We're very thankful that even though mahirap to share your story and it's very emotional that you took also the time to be with us today, not only to talk about GB's life, but also, also to celebrate it. So I hope yes. that a lot of moms here, a lot of parents here were able to relate to this story and also know that they're not alone through these kinds of experiences and thank you thank you thank you so much mommy Gigi, and to the whole family for opening up about gb's life thank you very much michelle thank you very much mocha yeah i'll see you in bacolod soon hi hello to everyone I'm who's there dressed. Hello. Hello. Hi. We hope to see you in Bacolod soon. And to everyone, my family, everywhere, all over the world, to all my friends who, who watch our show tonight. Yeah, I would like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And we, let's pray for each other. Let's pray for Ukraine, Ukraine for the Philippines, for the coming election, that there's going to be peace, peace for all. Yeah. When are you coming to Bacolod, by the way? <laughs> People, oh, yeah. soon. Soon, soon. So when do you try to fly there, Mommy Gigi? Hopefully stay at your house. Let me know before that. Oh, oh gusto yung may ano kayo, eh, may band to uh -huh. meet you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Gigi. much, Mommy Gigi. Dagang salamat po. Thank you so much. Salamat all over the world. Thank you very much. Salamat. Good, Good night. night, Mommy Gigi. I am in the comment dito sabi ni Saint Fire Thelma. Such a touching episode. Good that Mom Gigi is coping. God bless you. Thank Hi, Tita Thelma. Ayan, siguro yeah. talaga, no? I mean, ang hirap na ikwento, especially for the, on the part of Mommy Gigi. So we're very thankful na she really took the time and um, shared the story of, of GB's uh, life with us. Kasi I'm sure marami po sa ating mga nanay, marami po sa ating mga parents na dumaan din sa mga iba't ibang klaseng loss. 
So, I hope po na itong story tonight na napag-usapan natin, alam namin na medyo um, hindi ito yung usual ano natin na lagi tayong masaya, pero dito po sa ating programa, sa ating show, ay lagi nating sinasabi, tayo po ay isang platform para makapagkwento ang ating mga mommies at para alam nila na lagi silang may kakampi at kasama sa anumang pinagdadaanan nila sa buhay. Correct. At sa ating mga mommies dyan or yung mga anak na gusto rin mag-share ng kanilang story, experience, na makapagbibigay inspirasyon at lakas sa ibang mga mothers natin o sa ibang pamilya, kababaihan, paki-email po sa mochapartylist at gmail.com and we'd love to have you here on our show. Malaki pong, uh, malaki pong difference ang magagawa natin sa simpleng story or testimony lang po natin dahil I'm sure kami po naniniwala kami na kahit isang tao lang ang ma-inspire sa ating kwento, kahit isang tao lang ang matulungan natin, malaking bagay na po yun. Ngayon po, ngayong panahon ng pandemya, ngayon pong halos patapos na rin ang mga pagsubok natin when it comes to COVID, marami po sa ating mga kababayan ay nag-suffer ng mental health, marami mm-hmm. po sa ating kababayan ay talagang nahirapan dahil mag-isa po sila. So, sana po ay maikwento din natin ang mga stories ng mga viewers natin para para talagang malaman ng ating mga kababayan na hindi sila nag-iisa. And malay niyo po ay uh, marami ding makarelate at uh, marami din po tayong matulungan to be able to cope and to be able to move on, to be able to heal through the different experiences na, na pagdadaanan po nila sa buhay. Yes, tama. Dahil, hindi ba, hindi natin kayang mag-isa. Kaya, yes. dito po ang inyong Mocha Party List, Mocha and Michelle, para po maging uh, kasama ninyo sa anuman ng inyong pinagdaraanan. Kung wala kayong mapagsabihan, andito po kami, pwedeng confidential, pwede nyo po kami makausap sa ating email, at magtulungan po tayo. Kaya, wag po kayong mawawala. Bukas po ulit dito sa ating Ina, Mocha and Michelle show. We hope to see you soon. Again, tomorrow, salamat po sa naka-tune in. Salamat po sa ating mga OFWs na lagi nakatutok po sa ating programa. Pag-ingat po kayo sa ang bang panig kayo ng mundo at makita-kita po ulit tayo bukas. Mocha, wala bang papagreat si Tito Apple today? Parang hindi yata ako oh, matatapos. Hanggat, hindi tayo pwedeng matapos hanggat hindi natin nag-great yung mga friends si Tito Apple. Alam mo kung bakit? Nasa biyahe. Kaya ah, okay. hindi ano. <laughs> nasa so, loob yeah, ng van. Na lang natin ang ating mga Uh, leaders and volunteers Ay, all over yes. the world. Ang ating Oo. mga Mocha Mommies from Las Piñas. Ayan, sila po yung mga kasama ko mag-Zumba. Sila po yung mga kasama ko talaga sa pag-share ng ating advokasya sa Las Piñas. Sobrang active din po ang ating mga groups doon. And syempre, sa ating number one subscriber, Tatay Digong, maraming maraming salamat po. Senator Bongo, House Speaker Kuya Alan Peter Cayetano, Senator Pia Cayetano, Congresswoman Lani Cayetano, and Mayor Lina Cayetano. Thank you, thank you, thank you po. Yes, at sa ating mga leaders sa Pangasinan, kahit dito po sa Tondo, sa Valenzuela, sa Pasig, Pasay, at marami pang iba, salamat po sa pagpapatuloy po ninyo ng ating Zumba Mocha Caravan. Makita-kita po tayo soon. Siyempre, hindi mo mawawala. Ito na nga. Pa- oh, Michelle, pakibati daw. Okay, Tito Apple, better late than never. Pa birthday <laughs> greetings. Happy, happy birthday. Andy Mesitas, ang ating dating OFW ngayong businessman na mula sa Araya at Pampanga. Happy, happy birthday po, Andy. At hi din kay Delma, ang nag-aalaga sa aking mother. Thank you. Ingat po kayo sa inyong dahe. Uh, ride safe. Ayun, safe travels, mother. See you soon. I love you. Kita-kits po, one. everyone, Kita-kits tomorrow. Kita-kits tayo bukas, 8 o'clock Bye. p.m. Bye, good night. Number eight.